Hit with the hammer time, too legit to quit Keep bouncing, girl, keep bouncing Keep bouncing, girl, keep bouncing Keep bouncing, girl, keep bouncing Keep bouncing, keep bouncing Jump, 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 jump The Mac Daddy make it hard Jump, 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 jump The Mac Daddy make it hard 88, funny, 88, funny 88, funny, 88, funny 88, funny, 88, funny We ain't acting. We, we, nah, nah, we ain't acting. We, we, we talking. You, I, after a while, you won't forget that shit, did, bro. Like that's how it is. Like I don't like interviewing motherfuckers. I hate interviewing. I hate when I don't know someone specifically, and I just gotta go off. Of, oh, so you got a new album out? Oh, oh. I don't like that because then yeah. it's like I, 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 yeah, I gotta find something in common. So right. like, it's just some natural shit. And it's not like, oh, it's an interview and shit. Plus, I know you, man. Like, right. we got mad history, so I'm just going to go over that. And then what you got going on right now, you know what that is. All right, you know what it is. Take this shit off. You know what it is, man. It's the, I mean, how many names I got for this goddamn shit? It's the unstoppable, uncomparable, undeniable, almighty, like the goddamn Avengers, AWP, Attention Whores Podcast. And we are back. Episode 5 something, 5, 16, 5, 17, whichever one I name it. Who fucking cares? You'll find it. I'll promote it. And, you know, I got my co-host with the most always drinking up that water. Uh, <laughs> Starting that slaughter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good hydrates. Uh, Bumpy 103. What's, what's good, brother? Chilling, man. Uh -huh. Faded. You faded? All right. <laughs> <laughs> what you was doing that you got faded so early, nigga? Yeah, it was at Greg. Greg had the big at the family reunion, so we was over there. Is that when I hit you up? You was there? I heard mad people. Yeah, we was there today and yesterday. That's where you saw the fight? Saw the fight last night, bro. Fight took way too long. It did. I heard that the voice. It was all good fights, though. No, the fights was good. I just didn't like that I had Eminem do five songs before what? the what? main event. Yeah, he performed? Yeah, yeah he, performed. he performed. Oh, I seen he was going to perform, but he did yeah, five? He yeah. Did he do the. Did he do good? Did he do yourself. Did he do good? Did he? Did he do okay, yourself. fine. But did he do any he good? He performs good. He performs good. None of the new shit. No. He did two new songs and two and two. Rap guys. Yeah, he did Rap God. He did the Death of Some. Kid. I used to like Rap God, but now I understand why people don't like Rap God. I used to do. I, when it first came out, I was like, this is fire. But then after a while, I was like, I, I just feel like you do an event like that. You should do songs people know. You need to you know yeah, I mean? Rap God. You know, you want to promote at least one joint. Yeah, but what off the album? What he, he did? He oh. did Silly Collapse and he did um, Lose Yourself. Yeah, yeah. That was it. That's Crazy that. thing about him is that people don't know that he got albums that went double platinum that we never even heard of. You know what I mean? Like the album before this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah the the murder, murder. Selling. But his albums are always going to sell, though. Yeah, that's a fact. He, he could sneeze on an album. It's going to sell. He know that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's this scary. last album, I listened to it maybe, I, I listened to it like maybe one and a half times. And the first time I liked it, because it is trying to give back that old, old, real Slim Shady first, like the first three album type Slim Shady. Yeah. But um, after a while, I'm thinking like, why do you have to do that? Like, you got to bring him back. You got to do this. It's just like, let's be honest. We like him when he was on drugs. More, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he was on drugs, and that nigga had all this shit. Was a good album though. Recovery. That Recovery was, was no, 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 no. Let me give you a pair yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. Out of all the albums since, I go the first three, Uncle and. Eh. Yeah, Encore and Relapse, um, um, relapse and, and then I go Recovery. And Kamikaze. then after... Huh? Kamikaze. Kamikaze was See, I don't like the fact that Kamikaze had to be. Because he made the bullshit album before. Kamikaze that, was hard, bro. Yeah, but he was just dissing niggas that dissed the, the last album. It was yeah, like, bro. That's a fact. They say Kamikaze is hot and the one music, the murder by. The one after that. Yeah. Which is the one before the, this one. 
I was like, I, I just like, I just like him when he's not trying to technically rap so fast and like be lyrical miracle. Just slow the shit down, come up with some concepts that's ill, and say some fire shit. He still yeah. say fire shit. But yo, we got all up into the M talk. <laughs> I got a special, I got a special guest right here. I don't know what to call him today. You know what I mean? A butter. Yeah, I got, I know him by A butter Ariel Coach A. I don't know what the coach. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm just like he did I got a, a couple hats. Yeah, yeah, he did a, a couple three sixties and shit or one eighty, whatever one you call it. And um, I got him here. He's an old friend of mine. Back in the day when I was running around trying to get in everybody's face rapping, this dude was a secret. This was the secret uh weapon right here. Everybody was like, "Yo, fuck yo, he got some shit." And I was 10, 20, 11, 20, 12. That's how long we go back. Yeah. So I remember the one song, because I used to go to your old house over there. I think it was in Teaneck, but it's Wild yeah. Goda and shit. And um, yeah, you you I think the song that got you that notoriety off rip, you did a freestyle to what what if, if what if there it was the what if shit. So say what's real. Um was it what? Was it over say the Say what's real? It was Drake. Oh, was say what's real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Drake joint, but it was, it was originally the Kanye joint of the eight oh eight album. Eight oh the doom, and yeah. then you know Drake flipped it, and yeah. then he flipped it. And he put what if, and yeah. he killed it with that concept, and that shit That's was what like made a lot of people. Yeah, like, that shit was buzzing in the shit. town. That shit was buzzing in the town a lot. But me and Shane go back. To doing middle school talent shows and <laughs> that's how far me and him go back. Back before he was and running out of school and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lip, lip syncs, all that. Yeah, that's a fact, Can't bro. beat the lip sync. TJ. Yeah, music, music has always been oh, a part. Yeah. Always. Man, that's crazy. And then you was ball, but you was bowling back then as a kid yeah, too, always, right? Always. Yeah, you always was basketball and hip hop. You was right. like both. Yeah, you was like trying to shack it, LeBron it or something. Yeah. <laughs> Shit like that, you know what I mean? Active, I yeah, saying. yeah. So back then, he was come after that happened. You just started hitting them with other freestyles and other other songs. I was producing. You just played some. Um, I had totally forgot you had did that to the song. You know what I mean? Um, not to stick on. What was that other fat boy? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? So um, he's been he's been grinding for a minute. You know what I mean? But then as time goes by, life hits, and you you basically started a family. Right. You know what I mean? And right. then um, you somewhere that in the line of that, you got into coaching, right? So I don't want to jump over the thing. What's the, um, ask me the thing. So I make sure I'm not off of everything. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, like, you've been, you've been focused on this. Like, I've been watching. Like, I, I see what you're doing. You know what I mean? And you've been really focused on the coaching and things like that. I want to start off with Axon because I know you from before and, and seeing you now. What's the difference between A Butter, Ariel, or Coach A? What's like that difference? I you? mean, A Butter, um, music, you know, um, studio. Mm -hmm. um, the young A Butter was wild and crazy, <laughs> you know, smoking, drinking, drugging. Um, but a lot has changed over the years. Um, I want to go back to, you know, um, how I even became in love. I always loved rap, hip-hop, you know. I came here in 91, couldn't speak no English, you know. Um, but I fell in love with hip-hop. Nationality, exactly. I'm, Dominican. Okay. Dominican. Another Dominican that came from, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like last yeah. <laughs> And yeah. I just remember being in fifth grade watching a talent show. And uh, Lady Luck was performing. Oh, shit. You got And everybody else was doing, like, other people's songs. And she did her own shit. Luck and I was, was like, that. That, was that shit is cool. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it would be cool if I did some shit like that. Right. And then um, at a young age, I was listening to, like, Cam. Cam, Cam. at the man. Oh, Those were my favorite rappers. Very, very young. Then, uh, it, of course, it became the Biggie, Pun, a Tupac. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and and Jay Z, Nas, and so on, um, but A Butter is, you know, um, a, a personality that's gifted. Um, I could write. I like to write about real stuff, real pain, real situations, uh, things that people could relate to, and the things that I actually been through. Mm -hmm. um, Ariel, Ariel's a father. Um, is is a family uh, a family man? Um, I put my kids. 
Well, I put God before anything mm -hmm. because if I could do that and then I learned to love myself first so that I could love my kids mm -hmm. and that people that are around me that I love could enjoy my presence, you know, and um, Coach Jay, I became Coach Jay. I, I, um, playing ball, I always wanted somebody to help me. Oh, that's what it was? Yeah, and my older brothers was Shout young. out to your brothers, man. Yeah, yeah. my brother, Kenny and Calvin. <laughs> my older yeah. brother, Kenny, played high school ball. Mm -hmm. And um, he was always playing with his like, – he was young. Mm -hmm. So it was like, yo, can you help me this summer? Can I get right when I was getting cut from AAU teams? Mm -hmm. I need to make these teams. But now that I look back, he was only 16, 15. That's he wanted to hang out with his friends. Right. So I never had no – I always was that kid at the park. I was working on his game by himself. Mm, okay, okay. And I okay. always wanted somebody to teach me. So when I got older, I already knew, like, once I was done playing the game, mm -hmm. that I wanted to help other people get better at basketball and improve their game. Mm -hmm. And um, long story short, um, I basically dropped out of college. Uh, my parents needed me to work at the grocery store. They had a bodega in Patterson on Auburn and Godwin Ave, Fourth Ward. Mm. And, um, you know, uh, a couple boneheaded mistakes uh, <laughs> led me to leave school. And um, I got a coaching job at City Sports on Route 4. That's yeah, I do age. remember that time yeah. frame. You was always going there. You was always going there. I do remember that time frame. Yeah, I was actually working, like, started off working birthday parties. And then I seen a person doing it, was doing it with no enthusiasm. Then I started doing all sports classes and uh, shout out my man, Donald Henney. He was doing basketball on the other side. And then out of nowhere, he pursued his professional basketball career in Germany. So he just bounced. Oh, and now I just got thrown right. into the jungle yeah. and that's where I became Coach A. So you was just learning on the spot. On man. the spot, mm. right then and there. Yeah, the and I grew up with the best coaches. Like my high school coach, I mean, my, my uh, AAU coach was Tony Campbell, mm -hmm. played for the Lakers. I had Billy Gilbert, played for St. John's, and went to Rice High School. I, I, I had some really good coaches at Riverside and Gauchos. Um, so I grew up under a good umbrella of, mm. of coaches mm. and, and, and my high school coach, Mr. Doherty, as well. Mm. Shout out to him and my college coach at King University. Um, so I learned a lot, and I just took that with me and put it all in one. Okay. With, my, with the work ethic that I already had on my own, I was that kid that couldn't dunk. You know, even though I grew up tall, I got uh, I went from like five eleven to six five. I was that kid that couldn't dunk. <laughs> Where that so come from? That it came. I, I don't know. From like because all the older junior year, went from sophomore to junior. All your younger pitches that I seen, you look pretty like in the five somewhere. But right, then I, was I, was like, I went from like five nine to five eleven my sophomore year to six three to six five wow. uh, every year up, and. um so is there anyone tall? Well, your brothers are my grandfather's. My grandfather's yeah, because your father is tall. short, right? Short, right? Like five eleven, six foot. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think we get it from my grandfather. He was like six one, six two. Okay. My brother six four. My other brother six two. But you know, um, one of my friends had a kid at a young age, so I was just, I, I the girls were distraction for me <laughs> early. Like I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to have a kid at thirteen. Right. You know. Um, so, so, that, that, so, that, so that so that pushed that, you away that from pushed me from, from the pursuing at that moment. Yeah, at that uh, moment. Okay, okay. Let's, let's Once sure. basketball was over, <laughs> it, was over, it, was over <laughs> it was all about the girls. Yeah, and, and then the music and all that shit was going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, man. Shout out to your family for real, for real. Sure. I just, I honestly used to be. I don't know. Like I'm a part of everybody's family. I'm like, oh yeah, that's the. That's that nigga that always be around his shit. I just would be in his house like, what's going on? You be doing music. We be going to do that. Yo, it was something like that. You know what I mean? So that's that's what's up. But I do remember you going there working, and I didn't I didn't put it together. And now you're like a full-fledged, like, straight-up coach. You know what I mean? And I have a question that's probably out of the thing, but I want to know, like, I see, like, you very, very much are mentoring your son. You know what I mean? Like, you, he's under your wing. And it's not just him, but that's definitely your son. So you're going to make sure he's good. Right. But you're definitely focused on these kids and making sure they're good. I was watching some of your clips and everything, and I was just paying attention to everything. I wanted to know a question. Are you going to stay a coach for the kids, or, are you gonna, or do you want to go I want to up, up in age somewhere? I, I, I believe I'm always going to coach youth basketball. I'm always going to have something to give back. 
Mm -hmm. Um, but I do want to go back to school and get my degree. So as my son grows, I grow too, Mm -hmm. you know, um, with my son, it became easy because I was mentoring kids already. Uh, um, shout out to my other son. His name is Varian. Uh, I don't know if you remember Varian. He's about to go into high school now. Um, about to go to a big town prep school. I can't mention it because mm. he hasn't announced it yet. Okay. Um, but I already had took another kid okay. under my wing uh-huh. and was taking him to Riverside, making the necessary sacrifices that at the time his parents couldn't make for mm-hmm. him mm-hmm. and um, trying to get him to where he needs to be, like uh, a, a higher level. Mm-hmm. And uh, not only him, but I had a lot of other players that I mentored. So when I had my son, it was like I already had right. the connections. Ready, right. I already had talked to people. I already had rubbed shoulders. Mm-hmm. So once my son came, it was like everything was already in place to get him to where he needs to be. Mm. Um, I just feel like it's a blessing, you know. Not a lot of people could say they uh, they do what they love for a living. Like that's, that's it's not work for me. Uh, no, it's not. It's you you like, already in your ballpark, yeah, literally. Like right, you already did. Right, correct. And then, and then you and got, watching him play is like a dream come true. I always tell him, yo, you ain't gotta make the NBA, or, or t- for me to like that ain't my dream. I'm already living that dream mm-hmm. right, right now, watching you play. You know, question. And my daughter too. She hopes too. <laughs> She ain't as passionate as him. Well, how old? Oh, oh, I eight. know she's younger. She's okay, eight. She's, she's eight. Eight. all right. So, did did was his interest in? Bo- did you get him into ball? How did the basketball? Because I know he's in it. Like, right, right. He's on some. I'm shit. gonna tell you how it took place, all just right. in case anybody has a kid and they want to get him interested into a sport. So, um, I'm fortunate to have a job where I can bring my kids to if if they got to sit on the side at That's practice on a true. stroll or whatever. So um, for a long time, I would be coaching and he would be on the phone or iPad. Mm. And then um, I had a kid that I coached. His name is Jalil. Um, shout out to Josh Swish. Um, he's he's older now. He's in high school. But I always seen him at OT at four or five with his father. Like at a young age, he's passionate about playing. Mm-hmm. So I asked him, Yo, how'd you do that? How'd you get him to play? He said, download NBA Jam on the phone. After he knows NBA Jam, oh, download shit. NBA Live or NBA 2K. Wow. And then after that, I did that. My son started playing the game. He started knowing the name of players, the name of teams. And then one day I'm in practice, and I hear a ball bouncing on the other side, and it's him at like three or four years old dribbling around a cone, doing his own drills and working out. And that's how it started. Wow. That's what sparked it. So, you know, it the went from – Yeah, it went from – hold up. Instead of playing this, I'm, I could actually be playing it. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And he knows and that you're coach. coaching. Yeah. And and let's be clear, I think every son, especially the younger they are, they definitely look up to their father if they have someone like that to look up to. So if you're coaching and he's seeing you take on these other kids, he's probably like, hey, you know what I mean? So right. I, I just was wondering that because I was like, yo, he's just molding this kid like it's, it's, it's ill. It's you know, Ill to see and, that. and the thing is that uh, I was told like, Take your basketball everywhere with you and your basketball will take you everywhere. With my son and with a lot of kids in our program, um, shout out to Level Up, shout out to Garden State Bounce and all the other programs that helped me to get to where I I needed to get. Mm -hmm. Um, The basketball has taken us so many places. We've been to Virginia, New Orleans, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. We went to Singapore. He went to Singapore last year. We're going on Friday to Singapore. We went to (laughs) Texas. We're going to Vegas going, in October. I'm going to Singapore on Friday. It's not a big deal. <laughs> you know, we're just going to go there <laughs> on the weekend, you know, see, <laughs> see some sights, you know, <laughs> some top five places to uh, visit in yeah. the world. And, um, yeah, you got to be, just very but they gotta, they, they're very ruly too. You can't, yeah. you, you got to be, you can't do you, certain you, stuff. You can't, you can't smoke weed out there. No, 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 I know you that. You can't chew gum. Listen, listen, out. once I heard that kid you got caned, arrested. once I heard that kid got caned years ago for like spitting or doing something, yeah, it's very clear. I was like, yo, y'all. Oh, but different. my son told me it was his favorite his favorite trip so far. Okay. You know, we just came back from Miami and Orlando. Um, shout out to 2032. I mean, t- 2033, 2034, which is our second graders and our third graders. They just won a national championship. Um, only team from New Jersey to bring home two national championships. Uh, our second graders are number one in the country. Mm-hmm. Our third graders are number one in the country. Mm-hmm. Um, our fourth graders are ranked in the top 20. Mm-hmm. And... Um, you know, we have other teams and all sixth graders are ranked in the top 20. So uh, 
You know, I'm, I'm very proud of these kids. They put in the work. Mm. We got kids and parents that sacrifice, travel from Long Island to come and play with us. Mm. We had a kid uh, that used to travel from Albany to come play with us mm -hmm. and come to the practices, like not just show up to the tournaments. So, you know, um, shout out to those parents that are, that are there for their kids, you know. Um, and, that, and that's, that's also, uh, why I'm so passionate, you know, um, big ups to my parents. They had to do whatever they needed to do, mm. but work got in the way for them. They had to work to get me. So they didn't get to go to a lot of my games when I was younger. High school, they was there. Okay. But like when I was younger, I was always with somebody else's mm. parent going to games. So oh, okay. Okay. Like I, someone, a when teammate I see that, or something when like I that. see parents, I, I, I love it because the kids need that support. And you're talking to all the parents. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah that's what's up. That's absolutely. what's up. That's so what's the up. support from the community and um, and even other programs have, have been outstanding. Mm. You know, because what happened was we were going over to New York to the big time programs like the Gauchos and the Riversides that have numerous hundreds and hundreds of players in the NBA. Mm -hmm. And um, my friend Jason asked me, yo, I own Level Up. He owns Garden State Bounce. He's like, can we merge? And instead of these kids having to pay over to go over the bridge, we got so much talent in New Jersey. For those that don't know, New Jersey over the last five years, high school level, have had the best players in the country. Mm. Bergen number County. Number one, number two, oh, like Jersey. just in New Jersey in general. The state. You know what I mean? In Bergen County, we had top five player in the country, Ron Harper's son, Dylan Harper. He just signed the records. Mm -hmm. So we like, why are we giving away all this talent? To we city. could be coaching them all. Well, a lot of times it just go to the city because yeah. it's the city. Yeah, that absolutely. whole mind state. But everybody, so people but everybody in the like city us. lives here. That's a fact. So you know how that go and shit. That's a fact. So. Damn. So damn, that's ill, man. That's definitely ill. So I got how how was it like becoming a family man? Because I know you were at that time. You was running around. You ain't really. You was doing this and doing that. You know what I mean? You had your have girl and all that. I, I, Having kids was good, you know. Um, it just get it makes you young. I always say that you're never ready to have a kid. Let's get that out the way. Mm -hmm. For those that don't have kids, God makes you ready. You know what I mean? Like right. you always, even if you got all the money in the world, you're still not ready. Right. That, so that, that motivation that knocks. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a life changing experience. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, so um, having a kid, um, taking care of a woman as well. It wasn't easy, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Um, I don't want to get. I don't know. All right, right, right. No, 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 you don't have I'm to. Separated. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm separated. All right, no, but I'm just saying in general, just at that point, we don't have to talk about none of that other yeah. stuff like that. Overall, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Family man and being a family man is dope. Else. Being living with somebody else, um, you know, um, sharing your life with somebody else. And uh, making plans, you not making plans for you no more. Everybody yeah, yeah, asks you, yeah, yeah. how your kid doing before they ask you? Oh yeah, you're not, you, you not, you're not the star. You're, you're not the star. I'm not the star. <laughs> I'm not the star no more. You are not um, the star no more, my nigga. Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh. <laughs> you second. You like all right. You feeding this nigga? That's what they. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they want to know. Like what's going on? Shit. So all right. So. Your son's heavily so. What's his name? Is that I don't Aiden Cash? Aiden. Okay, okay. So, what's his talent level at right now? Like, where is he? He's at? like top twenty-five in the country. Um, he's a very good kid. Outside of that, very good student. Um, very big for a point guard. You know what I mean? Ain't and, and he can shoot. Well, the you're, you're, I'm pretty sure he has yeah. to. He's like sports. five one for ten years old. So, at his position, he's taller, stronger. He weighs 110 pounds, mm. so um, very talented. Um, just trying to install my work ethic in him. Unlike me, I was non-athletic at all. He's very athletic. He's very fast. Mm. You put him on a line of spread most of the time, he's winning. Mm. Um, he just dropped 40 last week at 27 in a championship. Wow. So he's doing big things. And uh, just yesterday, uh, he was playing two grades up. He had five threes in the game, mm. um, led the team in scoring, very unselfish. A lot of refs come to me during the Passing game. Like, and all I, that. Like, I, I love your son. He plays the team. Even though he could go out there and have 30, he'll finish with 15 and just have fun. 
making yeah. sure that everybody's the, the, the team, that. That, the, yeah, the, the team, team concept, yeah. yeah. That's so very what smart. makes him good is his IQ. Mm. He knows the game, whether it be on defense. So he's studying it. It's not like yeah, he he's just it. playing it. He, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, know, he yeah. knows the game. And he's studying it. It looks like it probably came from you, but his own interest boosted into yeah, it. That so up, now that he's just, he's a, is he like, Telling you or teaching you some things that you might not be on or something. I mean, sometimes he has too much of a mouth. He has like, he has, <laughs> you wasn't doing this when you was this age. So he's at that age where where he I knows he knows I he knows the game. Today. And um, but he has to understand that he doesn't know shit, mm. and that's the only way he's going to get better when he realizes there's always room for improvement. Right. My mm. dad been doing this almost thirty years before I was even thought of. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Once he understands that and continues to stay humble, mm -hmm. then he'll be at a high level more consistently. Um, if he plays so much that the hardest thing I got to do is keep him at a high motor. Okay. You know, playing with urgency. Mm -hmm. Always playing like you down five instead of just coasting. Mm -hmm. right? You know, but even um, when you're not, basically. I'm trying to find another sport, maybe track. He doesn't want to really play football. Um, I would love for him to play well, football. But, uh, football. But um, he doesn't want to uh, get into that. But he does love racing, so I'm more con talking. more contact in yeah. football probably. Than yeah. he, I mean, you have. You know, I made a mistake at uh, putting him in AU football and playing him up his first time. Oh, okay. so he's playing against older kids, oh, yeah, experienced yeah. kids, <laughs> and when you the <laughs> man and ball, and now you got to go into a yeah, situation a where niggas is, you ain't where, that where, where kids is like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? You supposed to line up here like everybody's telling. Now you you at the bottom of the barrel yeah, 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 working yeah. up. Not only socially it's mm -hmm. hard for you, but mentally it's Michael tough. Jordan on baseball. And then <laughs> we went out to Philly to play one of the top teams in the country, and he ran a reverse and got hit hard. Mm -hmm. So I know that could have been like That's something friend. that you got to be. And he's playing. Like I said, he was playing up. It mm -hmm. wasn't like he was getting hit by somebody his age or his size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah. Damn. That's tough. Tough. Ooh. So I, hopefully he gets over that hump and comes back into the sport because I think he has a lot of talent to play. To play that game too, and, Maybe and if you look it. at the numbers. Uh, most of these players, LeBron, um, Allen Iverson, mm. Steph Curry, Pat Mahomes, they all play two sports. Tom Brady, mm. all of them play two sports. It's hard. Is it like an athletic thing just to be like to to get a little? You need a little break. You need a little break. Like that football helps you with the angles. Oh, uh, they're not just about becoming tougher. Like you got somebody trying to break you take you down, mm. you know? So you got to figure out a way to get away from them. Like, you got to be shifted. Mm. You got to find different angles to get around, get, them. Get around. So yeah, that, okay. I feel like that helps you with basketball as well. Mm -hmm. It goes hand in hand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thought of it that way. And the yeah. training is different. Right. Everything is a sprint. With football. And you, yeah. Even though it's a stop, and basketball is a pace. Yeah. That's why it's hard yeah, because on the, the sprint is like when you're on some fast break yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. do something, but you can't That's do it. that. Though. You don't well, do that every play. Well, you the know, show, Showtime, LA. They, yeah, they, Showtime, they, LA. <laughs> but you know that that was one team at that one time. Damn, that's crazy. That's dope. I never thought, yo, like I knew you was into sports like that, but I never would have thought you got into this. It's like a whole new version, right there. I'm proud, brother. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate yeah, it's you. Evolution. Yeah, bro. yeah, time, yeah. Time comes, this shit gets crazy. Oh, you know, I'm trying to just build a foundation for the, my kids to dwell in. This is something he can have after he's finished playing. And you said your daughter's others. into it too? And right. my daughter's into it. I feel like for the most part, she just wants to spend time with her father uh -huh. on a different level. Mm -hmm. You know, um, she doesn't have to do it. Mm -hmm. I tell her all that all the time and she takes her breaks, but sometimes she'd be like, let's go. You oh, okay, I mean? okay. And, or uh, could it be attention too from and she's brother's his brother? <laughs> and, and she's his biggest heckler, you know what I mean? Like she heckles him like, if he has a bad game, she's oh, like, she going to put him in like a hamburger. Like, she's like, <laughs> she's like, no, like, or she'll be like, yo, dad, that kid is trash. Why are you doing like that? And like, she young, but she knows the game that's from funny. watching it for so long right. as well. Okay, that's crazy. That's crazy. You got to have that. So, low key, First, she's a good is. motivational cheerleader type thing. Like, she's going to she tell it like it is and, and all. She'll that. let him know when she, he has a bad game and when he's playing well. Shit. Okay, well, fuck, damn, man. You just went through all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Music, bro, because that's how I met you. You know what I mean? And Bumpy seen you at the park was like, yo, I seen that and all that. I was like, oh, yeah, I was told. He was like, nah, he played me some shit. I was like, word. So 
I knew like at a time. I think at a time when you was really getting your 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 buzz going out here. I'm not sure if everything was connected. I don't know specifically, but I have my own stories about shit. But I don't know if everything was connected. And then you know you had kids and everything, which really turns everything around. So you can't just focus on yourself. Um, what got you back? Like, or not? What got you back? Well, how did you start getting back more into recording? Let's. Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell like four years back during the quarantine. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was. Uh, I started writing. That'll do it. You know what I mean? I was doing music. And then um, I had a problem with addiction, you know, um, alcohol, drugs, mm -hmm. and um, smoking and all of that. And um, I relapsed in the studio, mm. uh, going back to do the music. And uh, that kind of scared me from doing music. Oh, because you think that freedom of the no, music? Just, no, being in that environment. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I had told that particular producer, yo, I'm in recovery, but I... And, and, you know, I accept it's my responsibility yeah, yeah, yeah. that day he was going through some shit. So he, he came in with liquor and drugs. And this ain't, know, this is a different producer from what nah, we talked about. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to make sure. Absolutely. <laughs> and, um, and I partaked and I, and I fell, you know what mm. I mean? And, um, to be honest, to segue, uh, the drugs and the addiction, uh, ruined my family. I lost a girl. Um, thank God I still got my home, mm -hmm. you know, um, I still managed to get my kids. Mm -hmm. um, I've been clean over 15 months now. And uh, about four months ago, um, I'm coming back from a trip from Ohio um, with my man, Bobby Evans. Shout out to Bobby Evans. And he's like, yo, you always doing something for other people. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what do you do for you that makes you happy? Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, you know, I, I worked out. I like to go to LA Fitness, go to the gym. Uh -huh. You know, um, see the eye candy as well. You know, <laughs> you get well you got, I know you got bigger, but yeah, you're definitely yeah. stronger, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I do that. I, I started playing ball again. Okay. I stopped playing ball for a long time. That's a reason. That's another reason why I got bigger. Um, I tore my ACL. Oh. Um, you know, addiction from drugs and alcohol led to an addiction to food. You know, um, and then because you, I have the disease but, of addiction, it's not just drugs. Yeah, yeah, it could be anything. You but also, you overdo it. But, but you tore your ACL, yeah. so you stuck too, so you so can't I'm move. Stuck. I can't yeah. move yeah, the yeah. same way. And um, so I'm coming back. I actually took a ten hour. I never drove to Ohio. I always flew. Every the three times I went, I always flew. But um, unfortunately, I had a player that at the time they had the fun, so I was willing to drive him mm -hmm. so that he could play. So on the way uh, back, like I said, he said, what makes you happy? And uh, just a couple months before that, I had a parent that produces, you know, um, his name is Jamal Meeks. Mm. Shout out Jamal Meeks, you know, um, re and he goes by reality. And uh, he had gave me a lot of beats on, uh, and um, like almost like two, three hundred. Oh, shit. And I just like. Sat there, I let him marinate, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so when he said that, I said, yo, because he used to rap to mm -hmm. the father that I was with. Like, yo, make some meat. Yeah, that, that, that name sounds familiar, but who, I might. I'm yeah. Like, I got a homeboy yeah. yeah. He's, He's from just... the Bay. He's from the Bay. Oh, okay. He lives out here now. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so we just started playing beats in the car on the way back from Ohio. That, that'll do it. Months ago. That'll do it. We started playing <laughs> beats. We just start vibing, vibing. And then uh, he says some shit. And I said. Yo, that's the hook. <laughs> and that's actually the song I did with my son. You know, oh, okay. he started saying some shit like, come on away. And I was like, yo, that's the hook. I was like, that's it. Mm -hmm. He said like the first part and I just took it. I ran, oh, I wrote yeah, the rest. Yeah. And then from that song, I, I went on to the other song, uh, which is, uh, I don't care what they say about me, mm -hmm. which is a song basically saying like, the only thoughts that matter is what I think about myself. What you myself. think about yourself, yeah. You know, um, I always start camp the same way. I run a basketball camp, um, and, and I say to the kids, the coolest thing you can do is be yourself. In this world, the coolest thing you can do is be yourself. Nobody has the same this fingerprint, and nobody could be you. Mm. You know, so God created us to be unique. That's right. To be ourselves. That's right. And so um, it went from writing those two songs to writing a song or two songs a week. And I've been doing it ever since. And now I'm, 
I'm working on a project called uh, Split Personalities, mm. uh, The Flesh versus the Spirit. And um, it should be dropping, I, I want to say, maybe October, November. The first video should be out within the next month. I did a song with my son called Run Away With Me. Mm -hmm. I got him on the hook. And, you know, I get real personal on this album. I talk about the pain of the addiction, the pain of the breakup. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like a lot of people going to relate to it. Oh, definitely. And, then, of course, I got my fun songs, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the ones where I want to indulge into getting with talking to women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, Not necessarily club, but just something yeah, that's. Just, just yeah. something that other people Feeling. could. Yeah, yeah. Vibe. Oh, right. the vibe. That's that's right. the term now. You, you Everything vibe. is about the vibe. <laughs> Absolutely. The, vibe, the vibes are good, the vibe. and the vibes could be bad, too. Like, you, Absolutely. You, you got to like, pinpoint what works for you. And I wanted to do it different this time. Um, catch different flows. Um, different uh, concepts mm. that, that have never been done before. Just tap into my creativity okay okay and i gotta get y'all on it too that's oh well, fuck that's right. a fact oh well, you let yeah, me know man. i'll add something to you know i'm back in i'm i'm back into messing with all my old stuff and stuff shout out to this guy he's been yo yo put your music out yo put your yeah, music out what you're waiting for <laughs> Shout out to man Hitch. We tell him the same thing. Hitch got yo, put your shit out. Yo, yo, yo. Hitch. You got first what? of all, Hitch gotta come here. Wow, that's man. number one. Well, I've been man. trying to that's number one. But he's doing the boxing thing, right? Or yeah, what are you doing well, the boxing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was doing that. But yeah, shout out Hitch. Because we used to rap together in, in the high school and shit. Man. But yeah, everybody should still do it. I think if you have the ability to do it, I don't think that's been my number one thing, but I've been going back into the stash and I've been like, oh, this shit don't work. And a lot of times. I think maybe with me, I'm not sure with you specifically. Also, you had a team though when yeah, it came yeah, to music. I, I never really had a team. Right. I had a couple people, and then I had myself, and it was like mostly I had to depend on me to right, yeah. provide that. Yeah. I, I used feel to like everything is the intentions, you know. Like uh, I'm doing this shit because I love this shit. Mm. If a deal comes, if money comes, you're not specific. If it yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, all yeah. good. Yeah, I yeah. spend my time doing what I love. Mm -hmm. It's like I said about my son. If he don't make it, if he just gets, if he gets a scholarship, that's a blessing. If he don't, guess what? If he don't become a pro, guess what? Nobody could take that time away but, that I spent with my son. Right. That's my number, daughter. That's number one. But even if he still feels like he loves the game and he's right. not going to play it like that. He has a good person to look up to. He could be a coach too That's if he wants to. Absolutely. If he wants right. to, you know absolutely. what I mean. So it's a win-win situation in that aspect of things. You know what I mean? Damn man. But that support is big. Like even from telling him, "Yo, Shane, I'm rapping again," and him at the park, like, "Yo, I gotta hear that shit," and him hitting me back, like, "Yo, that shit is it. Let's go push it." That's support right there. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, me yeah, not yeah. doing it by myself. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah. right. if I'm telling him, I'm obviously want to spread the word about what's going on. So, you know, um, the best thing you can do is re-ask for help, you know? And then when you get the chance, you help somebody else. Sometimes I always felt like I got to a point where I just was like, sometimes I don't want to ask specific people because I just feel like, like what I said is like, they could be your mans, but they still be like, yo, man, I don't know. You got to yeah. know who to who be comfortable with. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know who to ask and yeah. who you can step out the box with. So I, I got discouraged a lot from that type of shit. But uh, I got to a point, I think, in, what, what, when was it, 2017? My father had died in 16. My condolences. Thank you, bro. He's right, right there, just in case. That's just when he was running and gunning and snorting and doing all types of debauchery. <laughs> all types of debauchery. Um, but after that, I had to look myself in the fucking mirror. Like, yo, who are you? And I was, I, I started realizing that I always get a little teary. I started realizing that I was playing a character because you had the mask. Yeah, because I was too afraid of being myself. That's why this podcast is here, so I could just be myself. You know what I mean? But I was playing a character and trying to get liked by what I thought, and I was hiding behind the talent. Like, yeah, I got talent, but when you knew me back then, you knew me as the producer dude. Yeah. I kind of rapped. Right. And that was it. Like, you ain't... It was like the Kanye the County. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was kind of like produced, that. You know what I mean? And I was kind of talkative with that whole Kanye shit, but I was hiding behind the talent. I couldn't just be like, yo, hey, what's up? Da -da -da -da, or right. whatever the case may be. I had to learn that shit. And when you said, yo, 
you just have to be yourself. I was like, yeah, you grew up. You grew up even through your addictions and all the the tr the, tr uh, the problems you had. You had to look yourself in the mirror and be like, yo, who am I as a person? And then I got to learn how to love myself as that person. Yeah, and that's what recovery did for me. You know, mm -hmm. it allowed me to deal with those feelings, to not sweep them under the rug, mm -hmm. to, to face these problems and talk about them with somebody and get the feedback from somebody that has been through the same or even worse than me. Yeah. Because that's what happens when you go to these meetings. It's like somebody has said uh, in a meeting last week, he said, uh, I never stole from my mom and my dad, but I stole their sleep. I stole time mm. from my kids' sleep, from my mom's sleep. She always had to worry about what I was doing in the streets, right. who I was with, how I was rolling. You mm, know what I mean? Right. And I did that. And time is the most valuable friends, thing. To, 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 to the mother of my kids, to my kids, and I don't have to live that way no more. Mm. So what well, recovery has did for me, it's allowed me to be me. Mm. all the time, fully alert, mm. fully engaged with right. who I am, who I want to become, and what I got to do to get there. It always says honesty, open-mindedness, and, and, open and willingness. Mm -hmm. Honestly, where am I at? Well, am I open-minded about receiving the criticism of, of going a, where I need to go? That's another thing. And am I willing to do those things? Mm -hmm. I always say that's the how factor. Mm. Honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness, that should have make you successful. When you start thinking about, um, and it's another quote from Kobe, uh, one mm -hmm. thing we do as people is we f we think that we got time. We we that's yeah, the yeah, biggest yeah, yeah. mistake we make. We mm. think we got time, mm. and nobody's time is is grand. Is, is, is there's no definite time that you you don't know foresee. how much time you got. So yeah, when yeah. you start living like you got twenty four hours to live, you start being more productive with that's yourself. Mm. Just, you know, you you start. Uh, being thankful, being grateful, you mm -hmm. know, um, and, and and for those that do suffer with addiction, you know, there's a way out. There's AA, there's NA, there's CA, whatever drug you use, mm -hmm. they got a meeting. And what happened to me was I go to these programs, I get clean, and I forgot how the fuck I got it. I forgot how I got the girl back, how I got the car back, how I got the bank account right back up. I forgot that. Other people help me. Now it's my turn to help somebody else. Mm, right? Pay it forward. You got to give it back. And that's how you stay clean. Mm. Right? You always help somebody else because it reminds you and helps you stay green. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So on whatever you do, whether it's music, you want to be successful, help yourself, but help somebody else. Right. Whether it's ball, help yourself, ask somebody to come work out with you. Same thing with the gym. You know what I mean? Every aspect. Every aspect. Every aspect of life. That's a fact. It works. So, okay. Bro. You got new music. You told me that's coming. You got, you, you're you planning for a video in, in the next month. Which is my first, which is another reason why I wanted to come back into music. I never did like a real official. You never did a real official video? Official, no. Not you might have had some recording. I, some, I did myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, rem I know. I recorded you. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> the what if joint. Yes, you That's did. what happened. You recorded me. He had it, and I was like, I, I think it was your, I don't know who phone it was. I recorded yeah. you on that shit, and that shit just went out of there. I was yeah. like, oh. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, you. I don't think I ever like prepped like an actual video for one of your records at that time. And shit like that. And I, you know what's crazy? When I think about the bars, I'm thinking about it, I'll say, what if I never smoked weed? Would I be in the league? Well, what, what if I would have <laughs> stayed sober instead of smoking the trees? Mm. What if my grandmother never passed away in 03? Like, I'm, I'm already talking about my addiction. Back then. Back when. But I think you were already, you, you never was, you never were a superficial rapping dude. You never was like, yo, I got the diamonds. I got you yeah, wasn't yeah, never yeah. that dude. Right. I got the cars. And you, you could sprinkle that here and there if you wanna, you know, dressing right. it up. It was but, more bar. It was more, more bar, like yeah. this is who I am. Bar. And he stayed with the the lyrics. It gotta be the yeah. bars. Like I right. remember <laughs> And today, you know, I um I try not to adapt. I, like back then the difference between A butter now and A butter back then, I try to adapt to the um the vibes, like uh, whatever everybody else was doing. Right. Like, for example, right now, everybody's drill rapping. Oh, yeah. My album ain't going to be a drill rap album. But right. I I'm going to have a drill song on there right. so that so that people can relate to it but, so but, that they can know I could do it. Let me ask you a question. Do you think you need to do I, like, I don't think I, I need to. I think I just need to be myself like we've been talking no, about. No, no, no. I understand that. But I'm just saying, even though, like, okay, we we've done club records. 
it's maybe Jamaican reggae type. We've all dibbled and dabbled. But I think the drill sound and music, well, first of all, the Chicago sound that started it is, is <laughs> completely totally different. It's totally different. But the messaging is always I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a young street nigga. I'm spinning a block. I'm spinning a block on my ops. And that's pretty much it. Right. Like it's hardly girl shit. It's hardly that. No. It's hardly it's hardly money shit. It's right. hardly like the sound of it. So it's like And that song is the flesh part of my own. No, no, but you know I'm saying I mean? like, if you take a beat that sounds drill and like New York drill and flip like all right, bust it. When I was running around Harlem, when I did Elmo and I was running around Harlem trying to promote that, all these niggas wanted to do was the light feet music. So I started making light feet beats. But then I would tell these motherfuckers, I used to tell them all the time, they know. I was like, bro, don't do a whole song about Life Feet. Just take the Life Feet beat and do a do a different song or do a regular song over it. Because if you listen to certain songs like I Get Crazy, that's a Life Feet beat, but you got Nicki on there. And right. Jersey. And rapping. The other part of Jersey is still on that. What are you talking about? Like the Elizabeths, the uh, oh, they they on that wave that. But that that, that, that ain't going to die. That ain't going to die. That's New Jersey club music. Shout out to OnStar. I'm trying to get his ass yeah. in here too. He, yeah. he they they they. A come, lot of people don't know about they, Jersey Club. They well, Jersey Club. You you got Jersey Club, then you you got Jersey Club, which it, it kind of came back into oh, resurgence house. a little bit. House shit. With 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 uh, what's that? Co- what's the girl that was out here? Yeah, yeah, she had did that, and they started doing a lot of the Jersey Club records. Then it kind of like, kind of got a little demo. But then you got Baltimore Club and Jersey. They always fight for who's who got it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I've done like okay, let me get a Jersey Club record, like a uh, ride that wave or something, do my own version, and then let me do a Life Heat type record, like a Stick 'Em and shit. Stick 'Em is a hot beat, and I did a straight up <laughs> Life Heat song to it. And to this day, I'm like. <laughs> Uh, why didn't I just do a regular song? Dude? Like the whole hook is based off the dance. Right. But when I put it out, it was popping out there. You know what I mean? Like for what for what it was. So when I'm saying like the drill shit, if you take a beat that's drill and do you to it, cool. But just trying to fit in, or not saying you are, but just trying to fit in with what yeah, what they saying. Yeah, yeah, it's like I, I yeah, yeah, it's different. But so um, I always I always look at it like this for music. Um all the rappers that ever last told a story. You know what I mean? Whether it was Snoop, Buster, mm. Biggie, mm-hmm. Tupac, mm-hmm. Jay Z, yeah. Nas, uh, all the legends was themselves. Mm-hmm. Ice Cube. Mm-hmm. They all told their story. Mm-hmm. You all you know exactly where they're from, how they grew up, and how they went about things. And voice. they last. They you laughed. Knew their voice when you heard yes, it. Yes, when you heard it. That's another thing. That's how you get out you of who they were. You can't hear um, nobody new. And um, I just heard that and then Kalani is that Kalani song? That's yeah, a guy. Yeah, I know that. I, I didn't know that. My daughter thought it was. Well, look at his face. Oh, if you hear yeah, a, if you hear a song, about, if you saw it's called body. It, it's like Kalani. Kalani. It's called Kalani. The Kalani. girl. It's called the name of the girl. Okay. But the the dude that's I don't know what he's like from a different country. What? And he does, has different songs. Where it doesn't sure because all the people doing those songs is from all. He sounds like a girl though. He sounds like a that's female. A sounds like it's like the Casco Bean sound. So oh yeah, that. I gotta hear it. I ain't hear it. You heard for sure. You heard it for sure. It was like that sound. Same yeah, sound. yeah. He he does a similar beat or with the, the percussion. Same, or the song that uh, shout out to everybody. Boogie. Shout out Boogie. to everybody in Harlem. Shout out to Take Off. He got the Eater song buzzing. You know what I mean? Shout out to Fergie Baby. Just did a video the other day. I gotta get him up here. Is is a Harlem New York Renaissance going on? There's a lot of acts out there. Oh, so yeah, I, I want to get out and start doing shows again. Wait. And yeah. we the shrine. Oh shit! <laughs> shrine. I forgot. You know how many shows? Way back. Oh, yeah. Oh, all, I used to get. I honestly used to get more love from the city than I ever did from Jersey, this, yeah. this area. Because this area, they want you already to be that motherfucker. We was going to Brooklyn. And we was doing everywhere. You have to do that. You have to go to these spots. And a lot of times, I went dolo, and you get that respect. If your shit that good, they be yeah. like, "Yo, we from Jersey? Oh, where? Da, 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 da. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so I'm gonna get into that so I could get back to being. Stage comfortable again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get that practice. That's in. all it is. And get that word out there that I'm back. Well, th- this I'm is back. what I, I honestly tell. This is what this 
this podcast is for all I honestly do is promote motherfuckers I know and I like and what they doing. You know what I mean? Like I put you out here like, yeah, sure. I thought of hitting you up. But I was like, he's probably busy with some shit. Like, you know, I'm some, my schedule crazy. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, sometimes I'm like, I hell no. I'll be like, that nigga probably got mad shit going on. He's like, yo, just ask him, my nigga. Like, whatever. And I'm like, all right. But um, hell yeah, man. You can't beat it. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm actually proud. I'm proud, bro. What is uh Swish Sundays? Is that Swish Sundays? Is the workout? Um, I do it every Sunday. Uh, from 2 to 3 p.m., all programs, boys and girls uh, from ages 8 through 14 are more than welcome to come. Uh, you come in, you do conditioning. Mm. It's not just coming in, grabbing a basketball, shooting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we do different concepts. Uh, we may do situational basketball, uh, down four, what you're going to do um, in a game in the fourth quarter with, like, 20 seconds left. Mm -hmm. um, so... It's a workout for all the kids to come in and not only learn something but compete. Like, At the end of the day, you gotta play. You got you gotta you gotta learn how to play under pressure mm. against high level competition. And uh, we also want to develop the kids that are not there, the kids that are just learning. Um, no kid at, at no age deserves to be told you should be doing this. Mm. You don't know what nobody's gonna become. That's uh, true. You don't know if a, like me. I was five man. nine and jumped to six five. You know what I mean? Like, who knew how tall I was gonna be? It, you know? Did you have any coaches when you were young? Like that's around the area that was that was um that you were dealing with. Did you deal with any coaches from out here when you was um balling? When yeah, you were yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, like I said earlier, Tommy oh. Campbell was my coach. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, he Sorry. he went to Ohio yeah. State, played for the Lakers, mm -hmm. and uh, William Gilbert was also my coach, and he played for Rice High School. I went to St. John's. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's a workout that all kids are, are, are welcome to come. It's at 11 Howell Street, Tenafly, New Jersey. Um, you can always hit me on uh, on Instagram at Ariel underscore 07666. 07666 is that Tina Zip code. <laughs> for those that don't know. Yeah. You know. Um, it tells you right with it. To get more information. And uh, it's affordable. It's $20 for the hour. Because uh, I just want to get kids in the door. I just want to help. That's what's, you up. Know? that's what's up. That's what's up. It's good to see, like, you know what I mean? Especially in this area, grown men that's actually trying to help these kids and point them in the right direction because a lot of them might be running around or don't have a father figure or somebody to look right, up absolutely, to. Absolutely. And that, mean, absolutely. and that means a lot. That means a lot because, like, honestly, I would have been a wreck if that guy wasn't there. I didn't do a lot of shit because of him. I didn't do a lot of shit. Right. I could have been running around real, real crazy. I always tell my people, I'm like, you know, I had mad opportunities to do this wild shit, but I didn't do it because I knew I would have had to fight that man. <laughs> and, I, and, and I knew it would have come to blows. Somebody's going down. So, you know, that that's just what it was. So that's very important. I, I tell my son that on the court. I said, you ever get intimidated with somebody, you have to deal with this bully right here. Mm. You ever let another kid make you feel like, you have any doubt about yourself? Like I don't ever want to see that. I want you to fully be engaged on who you are. This is a basketball. This is a game. Mm. You don't get nervous to play two K. Don't get nervous. But to also, play sport, also, in, also in life itself too. Yeah, absolutely. You yeah. Gotta have confidence. Yeah, yeah. Also in life itself, you know. So, damn man, that's that's crazy. This guy came here, and started playing records I produced. I was like, I ain't even remember. <laughs> uh, I got more too. Oh I man. Gotta just Go through the uh, go through it. Out. Yeah, man. Oh, that's yeah, work. just sitting around waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm it's like I told him on the way. I have like three songs. I remember I told you I was in the studio. I stopped because I relapsed. Mm. I was gonna put out a mixtape called The Golden Era, where all the beats was from that era. From from no all all the rappers that motivated me, mm -hmm. like a Ice Cube beat, a Eminem beat, beat I already Meth. did New, New York State of Mind. Okay, I did Locks, Fuck You, Instrumental. Yeah. These are already um, recorded. No, like four or five of them are. Oh, but that was like twelve okay. that I never got my bad that I never got to record. You feel what I'm saying? You can still put it out as like a little promo, yeah, uh, little promo mix, yeah, yeah. Or some shit. Yeah, that won't that 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 won't be that bad. That won't be that bad at all. Oh man, bump. Yo, one o three. You just got back. My man went back and got some palm trees not too long ago too. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I took my son out for his birthday. 
That's what's up. Went down to Florida. That's what's I mean, good. took him to the gun range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta yeah. do that. I never did that. Yeah, that was crazy. Her, that was fun. That's definitely dope. Yeah, he's definitely going. You going to be somewhere with his palm trees, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, you know, bro. Gotta make moves, bro. I can't be sitting in one place, B. Mm -hmm. I gotta get it. It's out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Gotta go figure it out. I feel you. I feel you. Oh man, is there anything? I, that you got that you want to tell the people about, well, I want to get into some current events but before then yeah, that's yeah I, got, I got mindset <laughs> basketball camp it's called um, GSB level up mindset basketball camp is that uh, this right here level up mindset yeah. okay all right, all right, and um, you know I started like uh, like we were saying earlier the pandemic was a blessing and a curse that's how this started um, <laughs> so in 2020 nobody was running a camp and uh, I was like I called up City Sports and say, y'all, I think you should let me do a camp. Kids are just sitting at home. Mm. If we run it the right way, mask them up, mm. make sure they take uh, tests, you know, mm. uh, to make sure they don't have COVID, then we could do it, mm. you know. And that joint blew up. Uh, people from all over the tri-state started coming, and I've been doing that ever since. Uh, every summer, I run my basketball camp, and now we're doing it in Cresco. Uh, from 10 to 3, and we teach different concepts, like uh, we teach them what, it, what integrity is, uh, what, per what having a purpose is. Mm -hmm. um, the other day was shot selection. What's a good shot? What's a bad shot? If you open, shoot the shot. If you shoot when you're not open, then then you, you can't shoot for the rest of that game. I got that from, uh, shout out to Gene Oriema, the uh, UConn basketball coach, oh, shit. which is the girls' basketball coach. Probably uh, the best girl coach in the history of basketball. Okay. Um, so we, we teach the mama mentality concept, uh, which is be the best, become the best version of yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that we learned um, was uh, Mbutu, Mbutu. Uh, which shout out to Vita Project. They did the camp with me last year. Uh, they uh, they're a group of uh, uh, two young gentlemen that help people with their mental health. Okay. You know and. Uh, I feel like kids need to be helped with mental health at an early age. Kids now are going through some ever. trauma. Now you know, there's a lot. Are, the suicide rate is at an all time high with the bullying on social media. Okay. Okay. Let me just cut him real quick. Everything. Anxiety. Yeah. Trying to keep up. Do you feel, cause I hear this a lot. Well, I've heard this a lot. Do you agree with the, cause your father, do you agree with the, the, the medication that's being pushed early on kids, no, depending on the like how they feel, they might be depression or whatever. Do you? I'm 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 in and out with it. You it depends I mean? on what uh, it is. I, I feel like uh, doctors are professionals for a reason. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, it depends on that kid. You know, um, I had a kid that he would play differently when he was medicated or non medicated. And it was on the timing of the medication as well. Mm. You know, um, what I didn't like was that it robbed him from his personality. He was docile. He was, he was, he was looking like, like he was high. Yeah, you know what I mean? He was zoned out. He was zoned out. But sometimes he would be focused on the game, mm. right? you know, but he wouldn't be social. And without it, he's a social butterfly. But he's not so, focused, so he's not focused. He's not focused. So, all right. Give or take. Now, yeah, it's a give or take. It's a give or take. Know? Now, now, just look at it this way. As a person that's known that you know that you, you've had an addiction or had problems with addiction, couldn't that lead up for that kid? Not specifically him, but couldn't that lead up for a kid to now get into more addiction as he gets older? It can't happen. It could be I think it's person. possible. It Anything is on, possible. It depends on the kid's personality, if he has an addictive personality. But he's he's saying his personality, but, well, taking an example, this kid's personality is all, already like, I want to be involved, and then that certain drug is taking that away and focus him on... Like, when I look back... Right. I always, I always been an addict. I, I, I drank too much chocolate milk. I put too much powder in my chocolate milk. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what would be, and I'm dead serious. So like, that yeah. nuts quick, I would be. You know what I mean? Like it would be something that I would indulge more than you just want you to be. Yeah, yeah. Or like I used to eat two movie, of everything back in the day. My favorite movie was Commando with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yo, 80, watch, 1985. I would watch. <laughs> I would watch it. Od. I would dress up like him before watching it. 
I would watch He Man O D like no more than a normal kid. You know what I mean? Like, but also, also, you, when you, when you, well, how old were you when you came here? Well, I was six. Okay, so I was may, six. maybe that. So may, Thundercats and all of that. Was oh like, yeah, because you come in, you you come, you move not in. to age us. You, you, no, 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 it's all right. Nah, you you move in, right you you move in when it is is like a candy store for kids. Like it's right. just like here, here, here. Especially in the eighties and nineties, it's like we selling the kids everything. Like that's right, how they was right, doing. Right. You know, what I mean, cartoons was just commercials for toys to get us. Like that's really what it was. Transformers was a toy already. They was like, yo, we gotta sell it. Let's make a cartoon for it. Right. So that's all it was. So. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> on the train with it. <laughs> it was great marketing. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, I guess you could be, yeah. But I'm just saying this. So like, I think that, you know, I don't have enough um information on that. But as like Bumpy said, it's possible mm. that that feeling that they get from that could lead to I want more, you know? Yeah, yeah, Anything yeah. Anything is possible. Because I had a I had a, a ex that she was always, she had told me, like, not before, but she had told me, like, later on, like, her kids was on meds. And I was like, why are they on so many meds? Now, now granted, I'm not there all the time and I can't see what's going on. But I, I just, I, me personally, I found out later in life I was dyslexic and all types of shit. But right. I never thought of, like, other than Flintstone chewables, I didn't think of nothing I was going to be on. My nigga. Absolutely. Like, I mean, when it comes to drugs, and, and, and I'm going to say it, Straight up the way it is. Mm. We do the shit because we like the shit. You know what I mean? Mm. After a while, um, it becomes you like be get doing it against your own will. That's when you know you got a problem. No, you, 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 you become what you're calling on it. You become like, I need dependent it. On yeah, it. Yeah, dependent. Dependent on it. Yeah, Once yeah. you become dependent on it and you can't control, control it, it yeah, 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 yeah. And, and your life becomes unmanageable, mm. you become powerless. Because mm. now... The drug is making the decision for you. Mm. You on autopilot. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's a blizzard outside, but you got to go get that shit. Doesn't matter what. <laughs> it is. Okay, and, 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 we've all we've all had that blizzard. That don't feel like it. <laughs> Alcohol and weed is a drug too. Yeah. It could change your personality. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It could change it's a, any any mind mood altering substance. Mm -hmm. You know um, that takes you away from who you are, and and and. You became like if you tell yourself, "Yo, I'm not smoking no more," but you're smoking, you got a problem. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? You got a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You if you're problem. telling yourself you're trying to be because you want to, you're telling yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah. No, you're no, 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 no. You're telling whoever else, else that in your mind you're saying, "Fuck that shit, I'm doing it." But you're playing that character for that person. You're not, right, and right, you're right. really saying, "Fuck it, I want to get high no matter what." Da, 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 right, da, right, that's right. all it is. Absolutely, shit. It's rough. Man. That cricket is loud as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Would yeah. you say the oh, interview with it's us? Rough. You gotta be strong, man. You gotta be strong minded, strong will to be able to fight that from urgent. Yeah, bro. and you don't gotta do it by yourself. That's the key. You can't do it by yourself. Huh. That's why there's people. people yeah, me. that's why there's people out here to support you. Mm -hmm. You know, shit. You ever did podcasts on weed? <laughs> yeah, all the time. I, did I did everything on weed. weed. <laughs> and I, I ended up being that dude, like, yo. They said, what's your trigger? <laughs> hey, everything was my trigger. A sunny day, anything. <laughs> Monday and Tuesday. I, 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 it didn't matter what time, what day it was. It didn't That's matter. Did not matter. Good day, bad day. No excuses. Success. Right. Anything was a trigger. Mm. You feel me? B, what what we got on the docket for what's going on? I Some of the shit that's on the top, man. You got little Yachty. You little Yachty man, talking you got... about little Yachty talking about uh New York people can't dress. No, well, yeah, he's basically yeah, he's wild, bro. He's, he's wild. Everybody <laughs> dresses like us. Yeah. He's saying that Georgia, Atlanta, Atlanta is like the set for 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 style now. I that's can't. that's what he, that that's he what he dresses crazy. Yeah, he dresses yeah, like. And yeah. he from? Ain't he from Philly? No, no, he's from life. he's from no, Georgia. He's talking about Lil Uzi. No, nah, I'm thinking about Lil Yachty. No, no, no. He's from Atlanta. He, no, nah, he's not. From, he's from Georgia, but he's near outside of Atlanta he's or whatever. Boy, I never liked him, bro. Lil Yachty. I like a little bit of his music. I ain't gonna lie. He would he would drink now. He would drink now. I think I only like the song he had yeah, with uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, who's Yo. the who's the dude that came up with the Mario Brothers shit that Drake uh, drum? 
I, I think I only like the song with him and John, really. He, I like Poland. Poland was good. I, I got to listen to that. I don't remember that off for it. The but, song he got now with Drake is good. I mean, I don't understand what the fuck he's saying. You don't have to. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah. It's nah, the vibe. Bro, nah. it's, it's the vibe. Drake, but Drake bro, killed it. That's why. Bro. Drake is that nigga, but that little Yachty got to go, bro. <laughs> Out of here. Yo, but you can say whatever you want, man. Look, hey, Cam said, Cam, shout out to Cam. Cam is back rapping. No, Cam been back rapping. Cam never fell off. That's why I don't understand. Back. Cam fell off a little bit. Nah, he didn't. Yeah. He didn't. I don't think Cam he ever did. fell off. He's he's back back. No, no. He, he's back now. Because he has the show is more like on, on what he's doing. But Cam never fucking like, fell off. Cam fell off a little bit. When? Bro. When? The past when now nah, he was quiet for a while. Now nah, he he had, he, had, he, had, he had came out. What he came out with? Uh, two the pink thing. The purple pur- age two. He came out with purple age. You didn't like that? Nah. That was it. Yeah, rackets on there, man. Now he's rapping again. But but bust it. This is what Cam said. They this saying his freestyles on the radio. Cam, bro. Cam said. Cam said. Y'all used to make. Y'all used to make fun of that computer's cute and shit. But now everybody be like. Nah, they they using hot. that term now. It was still hot then. Nah, I later, never hated computer spewing. Later, he started like, ah. No, no. People that. always used to say Cam fell off at the time when he said computer spewing because that was lazy Cam. Like, that was like, I'm nice, but I don't have to show it, so I'm going to just say what I want to say. That shit was still hot, though. It was. But, that's but now everybody be like, this life ain't life. Persona thing. Is so you get cocky. it? So they're using the ING on it, like, this life ain't light or it's life in. Or this something to something like they using that term, so he's like, "Yo, now everybody's using he's been this doing shit." Doing that, right? Man, nah, fuck. Cam is Cam is spinning crazy on him. Cam on never, him. I never, I never show, heard Cam fall off of nothing. I can't say I have. Cam always been nice, always. Overall, yes. Overall, of yes. course. I mean, you got times when motherfuckers ain't like producing music on or in your face like that, but if you hear it, like. Like there's other motherfuckers like that that be they they still be rapping, but nah, like Kiss, they said that about little Ki- like Kiss little never, Wayne. Kiss never fell off, bro. But, ever. Yes, but there are there's probably records or songs that you don't necessarily know of Kiss that he put out, and that was it. He has a lot of features. Kiss always has some matter. features. He don't fall off. He never fall little off. Little Wayne never fell off, and they said he did. I never liked Lil Wayne. Well, yeah, I, I'm talking the wrong person when it comes to Lil Wayne. He don't like his voice. Lil Wayne is nice. Yeah, he never fell off, though. But, you know, for what Lil Wayne do and shit. What else we got up there, then? The Locks, the Tiny Desk. That shit was hot. Yeah. yeah. That was Bro, hot. Brought me back. That Shout out to hot. The Locks, my favorite group. Always. You can't go wrong with that The Locks. That was dead hot. I love to see that, bro. That was dope. I didn't watch the LL Cool J and Club shit. I didn't, I didn't watch all of it, but and, certain... You know, I just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was after it was after what's the name Cat Williams. I fell back because I was like, "This is the greatest episode." Like anything after this, no, but be. you know that I know. So I kind of <laughs> fell back off of it. I watched Monique. It was like ah, uh, I wouldn't have watched that. With LLQJ, <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch that one, bro. I have to watch. Yo, that. he's talking. He's talking to everybody like like the kids. It's like, what are you talking Ooh. about? Like he's like, why are you rapping about money and and pussy? He's like talking about the rap, the girls. He's like. Yeah, so you got you talking about that P, right? All right, so what else you talking about? Like that's what you saw, like getting at him, and, and it's the truth. It's like, all right, you you the flyest girl, you this or that, or you so the dude. What, though, that's LL Cool J. Yeah, I know. He he had he's the first hip hop superstar. Facts. Outside of probably. Outside of Run Run DMV. No, 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 no. He's before. He's be, he's no, he no, no, no. He's eighty four. He eighty four. Run DMC, I think, is eighty six. Like eighty two. Bugging, son. Right? Ooh, first. No, but when they became big, with it's like that. It's like that was the first song that became big. They were hot way before yeah, LL came. That's, bro. You're my talking about Adidas, before all that. Yeah, that's my, not. Bef- my, that's not before my my uh, my my radio and shit. He that's eighty four, bro. That's before that, bro. I just watched Crush Groove the other day. Okay, bro. yeah, but uh, you want to put what's your like? Crush Crew, I just LL is eighty four. And I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but Run DMC's before they're like eighty two. Not not looking like Run DMC. They might be that when they had the other clothing. They wasn't rocking with that shit, my nigga. They had to what dress like Jam Master J. We gotta go back. To you know what I'm talking nah, about? You fuck it, bro. Nah, you, bro. I'm a put- got his whole swag from Run, bro. You want to put the that? Mango, Are you serious? Glasses, Are you yes. serious? Yes. No. 
I run. disagree with you, brother. Run. I disagree with you. He didn't look first. like Run DMC. He didn't, but run, he got his swag. From run, run and D- DMC got their swag from Jay. They say it. He was the, the dressing like the, the D boy in the street. So they copied him. R- uh, Russell but, said it. But they were still first. Before that, they was LL came later. He's like, I'm gonna just go on my phone. He's like, LL was the show. We're gonna this right now. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about. LL was 84. Thank you. Run DMC. Run DMC. 86. LL, bro. At show me. 82. 83. 83. You got it. 83 with what record? 83. What record though? Because if it's not, it's like that. Then, because that was the 84. They achieved their first uh, gold record, King of Rock. King of Rock. So eighty three is this like that? If that, and I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I was. I thought it was like eighty five, eighty six. No, 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 no. With the release of Run DMC, that was their first record. That was their first album. That was 90, 1984. So it was the same year then. In eighty five, they King of Rock. Okay, so they came out the same year then. With the albums, correct. But they were they were out before that without the albums basically. Fact. But was they run DMC before yeah. that, like known like that? I think it's the same year then. Fuck it, I could be wrong, and I was wrong for eighty six. But we going with eighty four. We going with eighty four. Well, some came out eighty six that I know about. A lot of probably more of the songs came out later eighty six. But you saying that LL got his. His style or swag from them? Swag from I think he'd look at you crazy for that. <laughs> He'll tell you that himself. All right, I got. I got to look that up. I definitely got to look that up. I, Run DMC, bro. Okay, okay, okay. But he's still the. But Run DMC was never on Def Jam though. So when it comes to Def it Jam, wasn't. and that's why he said that too. they were on profile. Yeah. yeah, they were on they were on profile. I love say that too. I seen the skit. Yeah, he was like Mount Rushmore, and he, and he took he all the he took he, he took all um Def Jam. He said the BC Boys, Public Enemy. And the BC Boys added as one person, I guess one. Yeah, because it's like the <laughs> Fat Boys. You got to put them all. He, okay, yeah. Fat Boys wasn't on Def Jam though. They were on like CBS or some shit. They were on something else. The Fat Boys definitely was not on there. I was gonna say before him. I was gonna say, "What's my man?" Um, uh, 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 not Kurt. Curtis Blow. Curtis Blow. Curtis Blow probably was the the only one, one other figure that was probably big uh, up until like LL came and That's just. A fact. He was the first thing to pop, actually. Yeah, and he produced. Besides- and he produced for the Fat Boys. Right. The joint you the joint you did on it, he produced that record. I was like, that Can shit was ahead of you feel it. Uh, uh, Curtis Blow. Oh, that. Curtis Blow produced that. And that shit sound if you listen to that beat, it sounds like way ahead of its time. As it far is. as the sound. It is. I was like, what the fuck? In 80, what, 43 or some shit? That shit was crazy. Those are them niggas, bro, back in the day, bro. That's how I, I told you I just watched Curtis Blue the other day. So <laughs> that movie is I gotta watch it again. Forever. My shit. You can't be. You can't. Be, you can't go wrong with that. Is that the one with Sheila E in it? Yes. And you does that. That's the one. The only thing I know how to play on the fucking piano. I learned that shit. What the glamour is like? Yeah, I know how to play the glamour. Like, because like, it's those fuck. keys as fuck. I was like, yo, Sheila E shit. It. can't beat it. Oh shit! What else is on there? Oh, the Olympics. The Olympics. I ain't go for Oh, you skipped something. Drake is LeBron, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Drake versus LeBron or Drake. Well, he's he he he's he's you know because LeBron's been on the uh, um the whole um not like us wave. He was at the concert and all that, and I think somebody he was with somebody else, and they was like, "We, I'm tired of that." And he's like, "I'm not tired of that." And then he's supposed to be cool with Drake, yeah, so yeah. Drake's feeling away, and the whole Drake shit is getting crazy because then Drake come on a show and play or try to do not like us like in a way to like go against right. it and it didn't work i know he just had a show but i, I didn't he think. yeah he did a show where he they played part of not, uh, not like us and i'm like bro just that ain't gonna alone. work because he was in front of his own fans he's he needs to just leave it alone and now and now if you part I of like, like the new song he put out with Lil Yachty, I, I feel like that's what you need to do. Just well, now he's gonna focus. Music. He's gonna focus on that and party, um, party next door album because right. you know what I mean. He needs that wave. Well, he's stopping the TDE 
uh, anybody, I guess, associated with that to perform in like Canada and shit. Right, like right. he's stopping all that. Niggas I think that's punk shit. I think that's punk shit. I think that's punk shit. I don't care. It, the, the battle's over, bro. Like it's over. You lost. You lost when it came to push a T, but you tried to pass it off like you didn't. Low key, you lost, Joe, but you didn't want to respond to that nigga, so nobody even considers that shit. You know what I mean? I think yeah, he yeah, only yeah, he only he only beat Meek Mill. Yeah. He only beat Meek Mill, and Meek Mill honestly, he only beat Meek Mill. I, he only really beat Meek Mill. He, he never be, and also let me get in my hip hop tip. He didn't beat fucking common sense. He gave a couple bars on that record, but that record was hot, so everybody acted like that was it. Common sense killed him on that fucking on that shit, calling him Canada Dry and all that crazy shit. Yeah. He killed him, but nobody gives common that that what you call it. Joe came up with four diss records. He ain't responding to him because he's Joe, so whatever. But you know, you know what it was with know. Kendrick and Drake. Uh, you know who? Joe. Who the fuck is Joe? Joe Rollins. Oh, he came out with four. Di- when he when he, made a song when he did, when he did when he said pump it up. He had a song with French Montana. He was like pump pump it. He was trying to make fun of him and shit because they know each other and they fuck the same girls and all that shit. So it was some personal shit. But Joe came at it. This is before Joe quitting. This was part and he was hitting with four joints back to back. Bong 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 on some crazy shit. He never responded. Act like Joe was it was beneath him. So it was like whatever. But you can't do that. That's what I'm saying with Drake. He's changing the rules on how you move with a bat. Like, I never knew, and J. Cole, I never knew you could just bow out of shit. Like, I come from the, the, the class of you in a battle, you battling. And if you lose, that's what it is. Unless you want to keep going. But that's it. You don't just be like, all right. Yeah, Drake, Drake put enough records out. Um, I feel like the thing was, Drake, Drake came off, he took the lead. And then they said, Kendrick can't make a song that we can actually bump on the radio. And then he did. And then he fucking did. But Kendrick and do he, have, Kendrick has no, some. No, I'm not saying, no, I'm talking about as far as the battle was going on. Okay, okay. Like the songs that Drake was playing, you Euphoria could play. Euphoria was crazy, yeah, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can play anywhere. Like dropping in 50. Yeah, you but, can but play that. Drake could play Family Matters. And then when he dropped. Family Matters got suffocated. <laughs> that record got suffocated before. When, it came. when when you played Not Like Us, it was like, oh shit, he did it. Yeah, that, that he did it. a song. That he was, did a that song. Niggas could dance to. Fuck that. that. That's the song of the year. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's that true. song ain't going nowhere. That shit better of... get a Grammy. It, it has to. And it low key and brought California crazy. together. Yeah, it did. It did a lot. <laughs> Yo, like it did a lot. It really did a lot. And, and see, the thing is, I think Drake once he did back to back. Recently, a few, uh, recently a few, um, maybe a few months before this happened, I went back to back to back, and I listened to it, and I said at the time I could see what it was all about, but now I don't even care. Like it don't hit like it did. Like back to back don't hit like it it hit at that one point. But I think Drake was like, I'm gonna just back to back this dude with dropping, give me fifty, and then uh, the family matters shit. And he didn't expect this motherfucker because this nigga's I just... I mean, his, Drake's response to to Not Like Us was actually fire. That uh, heart, mm-hmm. heart, whatever, six. The ending that, didn't make it. But it his tone of... His that approach, tone was fire. It just... It was like... This song was too much of an explosion to come yeah, back yeah. from. Nah, that, but also... No, 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 no. Yeah. That, the hard part six w- sounded like an You got kids right? singing it. You got people at freaking events... Playing it. It's an anthem. Everybody bro. knows it. Yeah. But the hard part six that he this put out down sounded down like an excuse. It, Cause he was like, Yeah, I got, gotta get the pen working. It was good getting the pen working again. And he sounded like he gave up low key. It's like don't approach it that way. Like if you wanna go out, go the fuck out. Even if you lose, like right. go That's out hard, swinging. Right. Yeah. He I don't think he went out swinging with that. And that even put more nil in the I corner. mean what he tried to do, he tried to he tried to hit him with the reset you up. Couldn't do that shit. Yeah, we right. set you up. We knew you was going to play this card. And, bro, let's, and be, cl- and let's be clear. Let's be clear. After the whole Meek Mill, like, he killed Meek Mill, but the fact that just society has been able to just be like, oh, he got he got known ghostwriters, right? He got known ghostwriters, and we don't know which songs are specifically, unless he puts it in the credits, but he's still claiming to be the best. Bro, you can't have. Well, that's ghost- why I always say, 
He'll always be, and that's what I thought that was. I thought it said well, Drake is LeBron. Drake will always be LeBron and Jay Z. Always. You can't always. say you can't say Jay Z. Because Jay-Z is not known for having writers. No, no. What I mean is Jay-Z will always be the greatest of all time. I think that Drake, when it's all said and done and he passes away, people are going to say he's the greatest. He's going to be up there. Because he's going to be up there. His catalog. His catalog. His catalog will live. He's like LeBron. No matter what LeBron does, he can never get Jordan. He can never get Jordan. No, I said this on because Because, like, he got Ghost Riders, LeBron went and joined super teams. That's what, but that's you know what I'm saying. But, but that, I, that's what I'm saying. Like I had this conversation with my cousin and his shit. I was like, bro, y'all put when LeBron came out, he was already on a pedestal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he came out as King James. I seen the promo. I was like, okay. And to me, I was always like the closest. You, live up the to closest Mike, you yeah. gonna get to Mike is Kobe. I'm yeah, sorry, right. Right. Kobe was different with that. Right. Kobe was different. And okay, you want LeBron and Kobe. LeBron is like. LeBron is literally like if Shaq was a little smaller, like if Shaq was a little smaller than what he is, yeah. and he was just agile. No, facts, you know what I mean? Because he's hella agile for to be that that big and tall, no diddy or whatever. Like so, I understand that, but the finesse and all that shit, like he would never be close. I don't, I don't, I, I put Kobe over him. I know most people won't say that shit or Mike, but, accolades. but yeah, yeah, the accolades, but also too. You jumping from team to team. When I came up, you couldn't do that and be that nigga. Yeah. You had to build your team. Yeah. Right. You had to yeah. stay with your team and build your team. Now, Bulls, baby. Yeah. Now the game is like playing NBA Live. You just customize everything. I'm gonna put this nigga on this team. I'm gonna put this nigga on this team. It's like okay. I'm gonna get my son drafted. <laughs> right. Shit oh like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like right. that. But well, I ain't mad at that. Hell though. no, no. I ain't no, mad no. at that though, because if it was a nah, white, if it was me, I would have did it. They did it with uh, uh, well, King Griffey Jr. You, yeah. you could do that. If it was a white boy, there would be no problem. There would right. be no talk about it, like because it's LeBron, and LeBron's a nice guy. That's another thing. He's nice. Yeah. Like Kobe was nice, but Kobe was an asshole too. Like Kobe could just be like, you know, what I mean, I'm in right. the game. <laughs> I think LeBron sometimes he's too nice, and I understand it, but. Sometimes that backfires him with the whole game and shit and shit like that. What else we got in there for? What else was the Olympics? There? Oh yeah, the Olympics. I love the Olympics. I like. I watch every like if I got time, of course. You gonna watch busy. it? I was just watching the eight hundred meter race. You know what I mean? So swimming. Oh, so like <laughs> just to see like it's just entertaining, entertaining like people dream for this moment. Yeah, mm, so Snoop is out there wilding. <laughs> the whole life as an athlete, like even me being an athlete, like, um, you know, one of my goals in the future is to make a Dominican team mm. that could, I already got my son, I got about three or four you kids mean on that. a Dominican team that could just. A Dominican team that could go out there and play for the country. You know what I mean? And uh, and, and go to and go to the Olympics mm. and, and make That'd some noise. Dope. You know, um, people, like I said, the Olympics. Your whole life, man, you work for this. I think the dopest quote I heard in the Olympics is um, Usain Bolt. What do you say? He said, I worked four years for nine seconds. Some people work two weeks and give up. Mm. I worked four years to run nine seconds. Woo! That's real. You know what I mean? That's true. To run nine seconds in that Olympic, that Olympic run. And some people give up when they don't see results after two months. You yeah, stop. You yeah. seen all the the thing about the whole girl boxing situation and uh oh you're transgender. And, well they well they they're saying that this that 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 uh lady the late the the lady is the lady. She's not a trans, but she's just hyped on everything and shit like she that. She has hormones. Well, I think she's so she's on steroids. Yeah, steroids or some shit. How do you allow that? Bro? Yeah, I, I mean, shit so it was born a woman. It, no, it was supposed to be because you hear it talk about how they're gonna have right. Stuff. What <laughs> is it? What's really going on? No, no, you know, you hear this talk about how they're gonna have these like now Olympics want to have men versus women or they want to have trans men or trans. I get the terms mixed up versus women. So the girl, the 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 the, the light, the the younger lighter. The, the more feminine looking woman, she lost. She gave up because she was like, yo, 
this motherfucker hitting me too goddamn hard. That's so true. everybody off the rip is like, oh, that's a trans right. woman or whatever the case may be. But now they're saying now nah, that's a real woman. She's just, just stocky. Yeah. Stocked up or shit like that. But this is the thing that's happening, uh, opposed from what you said from the Olympics. Like, it's very. They're putting a lot of these new things involved. New things, the beginning yeah. of it was like they want equality, so now you a man can fight a woman type shit. They they say that until it happens. That's what happens realistically. Not saying that a woman could duck, you could get fucked up by a girl, a woman, or whatever. Not true, but yeah. it's just looking bad when a nigga beats her up. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. You can't beat her up. You got to take that, yo. You got to take that, bro. That's it's right. like this. Uh, this transgender, he ran in a, um, it was a marathon. That was first place. I was mad that the other girls ain't standing next to him on the podium. And it's like, women fall for women's right for years. Uh -huh. You can't just come and just take that shit. Uh -huh. Because you feel that you identify as a woman. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, this, that, this whole identify ass thing is, is, yeah, the world is, man. It is what it is. Man. Yeah. We gotta love people for who they are, but no, I comes, understand when that. When it comes to sports, you can't cheat that game. Yeah, it's got to be rules and regulations. Yeah, rules and regulations. Like, when it comes. keep certain things in certain categories. Also, 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 them going into certain uh, rooms, bathrooms, and things like that. Yes. Children Make, and all that. I don't need my daughter. That, no, that's... Let me get a um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Take what you need, bro. Um, yeah, they need to set up these categories to make it easy for just, you know, everybody to fit in where they need to fit in. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, the the way the world is going. Let me see the um thing real quick. The way the world is going is crazy now. It really, really is, man. Did you see the Megan the Stalin at the DNC? We ain't talk about that yet. Yeah, that's what with the um with Kamala Harris. With Kamala? Yeah. We're going I got I didn't see it. You didn't you didn't Kamala see loved it, right? She did it. She, she was dressed though. She, she <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, that's the funny. That's the funniest thing I heard so far. Like she had a little crop top, but she was dressed. She was like the had the little suit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, I mean, I think it was a bad look as far as we're gonna just go out here and twerk for votes type shit. Yeah, they do come Where was it? Where yo, was it at? At the DNC, like they were, they were in Georgia. They was in Atlanta. Oh. Trump is winning this shit. It's not Kamala could do. The, the country got his mom made up. <laughs> I Yo, like every everywhere you go, that's you're seeing fact. Trump 2024 under whatever comments, under whatever. And I'm not show. telling people not to vote because everybody has the right to vote. Mm -hmm. People died to vote, you mm -hmm. know, but I'm just telling you what it is, you know. Yeah, they're going in on her, though. They're going on Kamala. And nobody want to see a black woman become the first female president. Not right now. At least not her, you know. No, but that's the, is, the, is, the, the But the issue becomes of. Is she really a black quote unquote woman, or is she cosplaying as it because she was going as a Asian Indian woman beforehand when she like four years ago? Like that's how they was introducing yeah, her. So, no. so that becomes an issue, especially with black women. There's certain black women that are against it, um, certain everybody that's against it, and then there's certain black women that are rooting for it because she's probably the closest they will probably get. That's you know, a lot. Brown. Yeah, she's brown. <laughs> like whatever she, she's brown. Whatever she says, she's not is. white. Let's just put it she's like that. Not she's not white. white, but bust this. She's not white, right? She don't per speak se. No other language. But let me ask you a question: Do wow. you consider like Indian people like the Indian? Not not the native. Are you native? Ask me? Not native. I don't consider native. native. Do we consider them Asian. Asian. No, no. I, Asian. I don't consider Indians are Asian. No, no. I don't consider Native Americans Indians. The nigga came here, thought it was India, and called these niggas Indians. They're right. not. They were native. They're native. indigenous. Right, right, we don't know. Right. They're us or black, whatever the fuck. Right. They're from different places. We know. We know. But the Indian know. red dot Indians or Indian Hindu Indians, right? Asian. Do you consider them closer to being in the white at hemisphere or in the black hemisphere? Like black. just black. I don't. Black. I black. think they pass a lot of time in the white hemisphere. That's that's just how they carry themselves. But ethnically, they're black. Yeah. Ethnic, 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 ethnically, ethnic. I understand what you're saying, but I, the I, other way they go about it is like, like Asian, even eight, like, um, like, um, like Asian people, like Chinese, Japanese, Filipinos. Sometimes I feel that they they could pass in that white hemisphere too. They do. 
You know what I mean? They only do. to a certain extent. It is going to be a certain extent, but that yeah, extent yeah. works for them more than it would work, work for anyone they browner. Got, they got a homeland too, man. So it's easy for them to come over here, play the white man's game, take advantage of it, uh-huh. and bring it back home. They a smarter. lot of cultures do They're that, smarter, though. Smarter, bro. People, let's talk about this. Smarter, but with Dominicans, like I've 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 talked, you know, I'm getting mistaken for a Dominican person right. all the time. Um, a lot of times with like the Hispanic speaking people or Spanish speaking people, I don't want to, you know, say anything wrong, but Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> it, it gets switched up all the time. A lot of times you got ins and out. You got ones that more pass to like like the wider side. Yeah. The ones that racism exists everywhere. Yeah, yeah a lot in that. Yeah, you know what I mean like from Spain or from Argentina. Yeah, or, you know what I'm saying. If they Peruvian, they kind of pass like over there a little bit of slavery that happened over there as well. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So uh, with that being said, you got your white Dominicans, you got your black Dominicans, you got your black Dominicans that don't think they black. Right. <laughs> Me no I, black. I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm not right. black. I'm Dominican. Mm-hmm. And when I came here, I used to think that until my best friend's mom. Who was Jamaican told me, nah, nigga, you black. Just and like and, and you know if you're I mean? Dominican, like, you're from the Caribbeans, right? So right. Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah. all mixed in. Like, so I thought, I thought that. Plus, you're right by Haiti. Well, I'm Dominican. And, like, I'm, and, I'm from DR. Like, what are you talking about? Don't y'all, I'm not, I'm don't, hey, don't yeah. y'all own, don't y'all, think that. don't y'all share yeah. island? Yes. We're, we're, the most, <laughs> we're the most Afrocentric Latin uh, people that exist mm-hmm. in the world. Mm-hmm. Like, by the Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, we're the closest thing to African American. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it exists everywhere, you mm-hmm. know. Um, shit, my dad had uh, was was tough for me, you know what I mean. And then we got the bodega. Look how God works, and he realized, oh shit, <laughs> all black people are not the same. Mm-hmm. They show him love, Poppy. What's up? But you get those that's gonna come in and rob the store, right, right. and then you but get something that's gonna show you that good goes morning. To everybody, right? Yeah, and then you start to realize. But- Everybody ain't the same. But as a, as a, as a, not saying you're not because black is a a, a a construct. Like I'm I'm brown. We brown. It's yeah, a construct. Yeah. Is a white and black are constructs for society to go under. You know what I mean? Like if take like the ish people, right? They'd be like, I'm I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. But you might be from Poland. Or you might a, be from that, Germany. But you, Jewish is a, is a is a religion. It's a culture. But it's not a it's, it's not a race. For them, yeah. It's a race. For them. No, they culture. they make it a race. But it's not a race because right. you know a lot of real Jews are black, right? Yeah, in in different parts of, of the what you call it. Right. But I can't go with them Where's for the saying Jews spoke Arabic. Before, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or so, Hebrew. That's why I call them the Ish people because they're a type of yeah. because Ish on the end of it. But that's what I'm saying. But it all becomes it, it comes down to culture, bro. Because you got a lot of people that's like like they say the black culture, right? Like. You got a lot of people again Dominican, but he says he's black. Like a lot well, yeah, of people the, identify he, with the culture. I know so many people that like are ethnically they might be two different. Their mothers from somewhere, their fathers somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know how they grew up though, like right, a black, person. Like a black person. My grandfather looks white, blonde hair. I mean, blonde hair, blue eyes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And he probably identified as a white man. Right. And it probably worked for him. Yeah. It probably worked for him. And that's another thing. But but when you said you you had to bodega your father and all that, did he realize that how open, given, and accepted that black people are when it comes to everyone else? Like every other culture. Right. Like we don't really, unless you do us dirty, we don't really put slam the door in your face. Right. I mean, Let's not get it twisted. There's a lot of black racist people too. Oh yeah, You're yeah, but I don't, I don't. It's the same. Thing I don't. I don't consider. Way. I don't. Pardon me. I don't consider black people to be racist per se. Even with because they don't have the power with, with each Even other. No, 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 no. We don't have. We don't have the oppression to stop you. We might be prejudiced, right? So, you know what I mean? Because I think it gets mixed up. Because when you say racist, that means this. If, if someone says. I don't like you because of the color of your skin. You could stop me from doing shit because of that. I can't... Pers- if I'm mad at you and I'm saying, oh, fuck Dominicans, blah, 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 I, what am I? I'm just angry and prejudiced. Really. I can't st- I can't do something to you or your people that's going to stop you from eating or living. Racism does that to black folks in this country. I don't know about anywhere else. I can only say from that. That's how I just... The right. difference. And yeah, there's some motherfuckers that aren't like, yo... 
they might be a little more super Afrocentric or right, super right. like this or that. But the majority of black people in America, from what I understand it, when it comes to different cultures, is very acceptive to of other cultures. Of other cultures. And sometimes that I could agree with. Yeah, it, it, you shoot yourself in the foot depending on how it goes. I have a lot of Dominican Spanish. I, I was raised in the fucking Bronx. All I knew was Puerto Ricans. I never knew what a Dominican I, when they said I was like, what's the difference? I didn't know. I thought everybody that was Spanish was Puerto Rican. That's me coming up. Right. That was my ignorance at that time. So you learn different. Other than like, you know, you see Mexicans and shit. That's a fact. It's Same fine. thing with me. When I came here, I didn't know color. See? I didn't know color till I got here. Mm. We was all Dominican. White, black. Nobody that, knew color at the time. Uh, at least maybe because I was young and innocent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure it existed. Mm. But I didn't know. Did you, you think know? that America was like everybody was rich or well off? When yes, you came? absolutely. Didn't the homeboy just yeah, say that last yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. I told He's my friends, I'm out. I'm going to be rich. I'll see y'all when I see Are you serious? Yes. And it, I moved into a two-bedroom apartment. Me and my brother and my sisters all shared one room. And I'm like, this is it? Where <laughs> and, at? And he caught. Oh. So you came straight to Jersey? You didn't even stop in New York? No, straight to Jersey. And he's caught. My wow. family was lived in New York. Well, bro. Jamaica, Queens. Oh, okay. Uh, Heights. Okay, every yeah, all, yeah, yeah, yeah all scattered yeah, around. I'm thinking, you know, right away, I'm thinking the Heights. Yeah, the Heights. Bro. Bro. My brother, my mom's brothers. And then I had a little bit of family like Richfield Park. Okay. And that was it. But they all lived in New York, Queens mostly. That's what's wow. Up. But see how, see how our homeboy last wow. time, like the last part, this was like, yo, when I came here, I thought everybody was rich and famous yeah. and all that shit. And I was like, that's how they sell it. Illusion. That's how they that's sell it. American dream. dream. That's crazy. See, you get to the hood and you looking like, yo, this shit. <laughs> this is, is New York. Crazy. This joint looks crazy. And everybody hustling and bustling to get whatever. Just walking around. <laughs> it's nuts. Getting shot, police. Yeah. That's Same wild. Shit every day. That is wild. Uh, I don't know if you saw the, the Atlanta shit. Uh, Trump got himself a black lady now. And, uh, you mean in the in office? No, a black lady speaking for him. Like he did, he did a Georgia, he did a Georgia spot. He did the, like the same spot, and he got this girl named Makila Montgomery. She was a she was a lady that worked at a Chick Fil A, and when he came to that Chick Fil A, he had she had did everything for him and stuff. So she he put her on the on the set with him. So now she she doing big things. She's a Republican now, so she's speaking against Camilla and basically breaking her down. Like, how are you for black families when you, you when you were uh when you were a mistress? For this uh, Willie Brown dude that was a high rank, and he was you was a side piece. So this is all that's pick up oh they picking her apart. They go pick it's ridiculous. Up part. It's it's ridiculous. This is more entertaining than the WWE now. Like this is it's crazy. It's it's is is I tell you this, it's going to be entertaining with Trump, but I I have no idea. And let's let's be clear. Last time we had Trump, we did. The, the 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 country did was doing well off a little more well off than it now everything's inflation and shit like that you know what i mean but i don't know how the next four years are going to go i hope and pray that it goes well because i think either way it goes it's going to be a rocky it's going to be a rocky ship absolutely you know i hope I mean? not man we need to get back to business bro i mean yeah we do Back to business. We man. do get definitely. Stimmies rolling in. <laughs> That's what niggas let's want. That That's what. <laughs> let's get the money flowing, bro. Because this shit is twisted out here, especially after COVID. They shut it down and then they hit the reset button and then turn everything up on us, bro. Funny that COVID was uh, probably the only year that I was like, I was up. Everything was up. Money was up. Yeah, because there was nothing to do. Yeah, what did you do is stack bread during COVID. Everything but was up. COVID, COVID was over, bro. Mm, they was like, mm-mm. They taxing. It's funny. I still see people with masks on by themselves. I'm like, yeah, what yeah. are you doing? The inflation. Yeah. yeah. I had a, re a, a ref had a mask on yesterday during the game. Yeah, because it's still floating around, bro. Yeah. It's still floating around. It's always, it's never going away, bro. It's just, I'm, I'm still waiting for my dead homeless people to show up on the street. <laughs> what? I, I always say, where are the dead homeless people from COVID? You know, that's how I... They don't go to the hospital. That's why they don't die. They go. Thank you. At least someone yeah. to be honest with that. Like, I was like, yo, everybody that ends up dies, they go to they go to, they they go to the hospital. They die from fentanyl. No, whatever they put them on, they put them on that breathing shit, and yeah. that's it. And I was like, 
Bro, I don't want to go. I don't ever want to be on that, my nigga. Unless it's some crazy shit. A broken bro, arm. It's killing you, bro. It's yeah. Killing yeah. But anyway, I want to hold you up, brother. Is there anything that you want to tell the people? You know what I mean? Make I mean, sure they Shout out to Bumpy, man, for uh, linking me up with P.O. It's, it's good, good to reunite with my oh, brothers. God, you know. Uh, I'm glad you're still doing you can be music. anything in the world. Be yourself, man. That's it. You can't say anything better than that, brother. Do it the best you can do. Man. All right. Bumpy 103 in the place to be. Yeah, man. Down. <laughs> New music coming soon. Go get that. Soon. New music on all on, on all platforms. Go lock in. Go this, run man. that up. By, by all three of us. <laughs> yeah, man. We got to get to work, bro. We got a couple more. I'm trying to get as much done before the year's out. So, yeah. like, I'm on that. Oh. You know what I mean? Play clean the year strong. Shout out. Go, 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 go on on Spotify and go listen to that good Lord by yours truly. Yeah, P.O. got his music up on that distro. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go check that. This is, you know, Odie, but goody. I love that. That's actually my driving record. I love putting that on and driving. You know what I mean? That good oh, Lord good. record. Mm-hmm. And uh, shout out to my brother on there, Young Truth, always doing his thing. Shout out to Murdoch, about to drop that a- ATF record. You know what I mean? It should be dropping in the next couple of days. You know what I mean? Yo, my song still ain't dropped yet, bro. Yo, you got to check for them things sometimes. What the fuck? One record. I see you dropping joints. I'm like, damn, he dropping shit. I had to drop my shit for one day, and it still ain't pop yet. I don't know. I still got to talk to you about all the ins and outs on making sure everything moves. We got to take a picture before we get out. Oh, that's how I do it. That's how we do it. Yeah, you got to do your splits. Like, whoever, like... No, I've been doing that. You got songs with Murdoch? Yeah, I've been been giving... I've been... What you been calling them? Yeah, 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 yeah. That and, and truth and shit. So I just want to make sure everything's on the up and up with that. Yeah, that's what's up. You know what I mean? If anything, I'll reload that up, do it right right again. You know what I mean? Check out for the relaunch of Elmo. You know what I mean? TikTok. You gonna get that rocking? Yeah, <laughs> the dance is going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's still dancing and shit. You know what I mean? I want to thank my brother. You know what I mean? A butter. You know what I mean? It was good seeing him. Yeah, definitely. Good Coming conversations back. always. You know what I mean? I actually, I actually had my hand in helping him early on with rap. Not like that, but you know, you are producing this shit, so I'm, I'm happy about that. You know what I mean? And until the next episode. And shout out the next episode. You know what I mean? I'm going to have another coach. Coach Dre. Dre's going to be up in here. So it's like back-to-back back to back coach episodes. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. So we see you on the next one. You know what it is. Oh, before we get out of here, let me not forget our sponsors that we have right here. Urban Terps. Make sure you go get that Urban Terps out in the streets right now. You know, for, the, for that best, you know what I mean, up in the air, they got everything for you. Bags, yeah. shirts, uh, they got lighters, they got all types of merch, everything. you know what I mean? And they got that good green that you can steam on, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, check out Urban Turb. Shout out to my brother, Hector. <laughs> <laughs> Hector. You know what I mean? I'm going to have his brothers up here soon, too. I just talked to him. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and happy birthday uh, to Chiba. Don Chiba's birthday just passed. I think it was yesterday or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Sh- shout out to him, bro. Birthday so, bro. yeah, man. That's it. Another episode of the almighty AWP. You know what it do. You know what it be. You know what I mean? And keep supporting. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. You know what I mean? Make sure you like those right. clips. I'm being your face all day, every day, like you know what I mean. Like I say, you know what I mean, just make it a rap. <laughs> That's it. That's it, y'all. Thanks, bro.